in Chicago, home of the Windy City, the legendary Chicago Bulls, a city with the greatest people and the greatest foods. I was raised by a single father. He worked 14 hour days, day in and day out, just so he could provide for his three young children so we could live a dream that he never could. He could have walked out on us like one in four fathers in America do, but he stayed. He stayed and he fought so we can manifest our dreams, our desires that were in our heart. Raise your hand if you ever had a dream. Raise your hand if you're living that dream. That's a good thing. <laughs> Growing up, we were encouraged to dream. Big dreams, big dreams, absent of fear, outside of the boundaries of the ordinary and without limitation. As for me, my dream was to use my talents, my gifts to be a beacon of light in this world, but specifically in Hollywood. You see, as a child, my mother would take me to auditions in Chicago. We went to dancing auditions and acting auditions and modeling auditions. We were all around the city. We had fun. <laughs> I grew to love everything about the arts and the entertainment industry, whether I was acting in front of the camera or simply sweeping floors behind the camera. It became the air that I breathed. However, when my mother passed away, I stood at a crossroad. I figured if she passed away, could my dream still live on? Because she was no longer there cheering me on. She was no longer there in a position to help cultivate my dreams, my desires, my talents like she once was. Well, I realized she was still there. She was just watching from a, a higher dimension. I wanted to use my voice and attempt to live a life worthy of showing people that it's possible to live your very best dream and not compromise who you are on the road to accomplishing that dream. That you could pursue your dreams and keep your faith, keep your integrity, your morals, your values in perfect tact. I learned the true power of integrity. Honesty, honor, virtue, authenticity, morality, truthfulness, sincerity are all attributes of integrity. Integrity will preserve you. Integrity will keep you. There's a proverb that says, whoever walks in integrity walks securely. I have learned that the pursuit of integrity, in addition to holding fast to your faith and your values, is always followed by a great reward. On December 17, 2017, I founded an organization called Christian Women in Entertainment, which is a faith-based community, including some of the most influential, some of the most brightest, most talented, most brilliant women in Hollywood. It's a place for women to gather together, to educate one another, to empower one another, to serve one another, but most importantly, to listen to one another. From listening to the problems that we face in today's culture to figuring out how we can be the answer to those problems, we come together as women of like faith to see how we can change the world, because we know we can. We are women that understand we are more than our bodies, we are more than our cosmetics, we are more than our hair, we are more than the perception of our physical image. We are women that aren't afraid to go against social norms, we aren't afraid to go against popular trends. We are women rooted in something deeper. We understand that we are nothing without the one that created us. Prior to me establishing this organization, I grew up being told that Hollywood was the devil's playground. And part of that's true. <laughs> and that I had no place in it. I was told I would be turned out and I would have to sell my soul to become anyone great. 
Well, I realize that people in life sometimes simply curse what they don't understand, and you have to love them anyway. One particular day, I was feeling down, I was feeling like giving up, times had gotten tough in my career, and I felt like walking away. But one man's words changed my life. He said, Chance, when you walk away, light walks away. So you have to stay. That changed everything. I believe that we aren't called to run from darkness, but we're called to be a force that boldly advances against it. I believe that true light shines in darkness and darkness cannot overcome it. More women today are rising up and using their voices to be an instrument to change the world. Now is the time to listen to her because one woman's voice alone can save a community. One woman's voice alone can transform a nation. One woman's voice alone can change the world. So no matter if you're black or white, thick or thin, skinny, tall, short, your faith has a vital role and a part to play in you fulfilling the fullness of your destiny. Just as women, we carry life. We also carry the answer. We carry the vision. We carry the healing that this world needs. And it's through women that are truly aligned with who they really are. Women that are aligned in their body, in their mind, in their spirit, united in faith, that they will manifest the answers that we will desperately need for tomorrow. Growing up, most of us were trained to obey our parents and wait for permission, which is very well right and true. However, there will be circumstances in life where you can no longer wait for permission to do what you know you've been destined to do, where you can no longer wait for permission for people to validate your dream. Because the truth is, you're already validated, baby. You can no longer wait for permission to live the life that you deserve and to live it more abundantly. The abundant life. That's the life I want. Just like Nike, sometimes you just got to do it. Faith, commitment, and integrity is the key to unlocking the next level of your destiny. Without faith, one is tossed about like a wave in the sea, blown and tossed by the wind. However, with faith, you can do all things, and nothing is impossible. So whatever career path you have chosen, and whatever your dream may be, always allow faith to be your guiding light. Allow integrity and truth to preserve you. And never, ever, ever wait for permission to live your dream. Thank you.